So a lot of you have asked for me to do a Gen 5 uh, base file. So I'm going to show you guys how I would go about setting up a Gen 5 vehicle, whether it's a car or a truck, um, and just kind of do a, a base file if you haven't modified anything or even if you've done um, like a set of long tube headers and maybe an off-road wide pipe and like a cold air intake. So I'm going to scroll through to my stock tune files and let's go to maybe like a 2016 VET uh, Z06. It's an auto car. Um, we're not going to talk about the transmission stuff. I've got some, uh, I've got a 6L8090 video out already, uh, but we'll go ahead just real quick and kind of start. And we'll use this as a base file. And later on, we'll go back and do, uh, I'll show you how I do a, how I do a camshaft, how I set that up. So real quick, we'll just check our, as you can see here, there's no operating system swaps for these vehicles, which is actually kind of nice. Um, we can go here and check our controller. So this is an E92, uh, would be an E92. So just going kind of left to right, we'll start over here in idle. Um, we're not going to need to touch any of this when we come to do a camshaft. We'll mess with some of these base set point uh, tables here, but that will be that. Uh, if we go over to the torque table, this is a big one um, when it comes to adding a camshaft or a power adder. And even still, we're not going to touch it. You guys are going to find that uh, contrary to what the internet will tell you, um, through a lot of trial and error and working on some of these vehicles, um, you're just not going to need to touch this stuff. Um, it's going to be just fine. It's more simple, uh, really, than you think. So if we go over here to airflow, um, looks like this was a supercharged vehicle, uh, but we're not going to uh, touch this one. Um, so, yeah, you can tell by the map sensor uh, that it has a four bar map sensor in it, and the the map estimation is uh, in the is going to would read into boost. Um, but uh, if you were dealing with a truck or uh, something that uh, was not forced induction, you would just leave all of this alone. Same thing over here. Wouldn't touch any of this. Cranking VE, base airflow, we will touch that when we do a camshaft. First thing we are going to do, though, is we are going to put this thing in mass airflow sensor only mode. Um, it does have a virtual volumetric efficiency table, just like the Gen 4s. But to be frank with you, we are not going to need it. Uh, the majority of these vehicles um, are going to run just fine on their mass airflow sensor only. Speed density, we do not need to touch anything here. Electronic throttle, we just want to verify that the max area versus RPM is set to 100. That way the throttle body uh, blade can open 100% if requested. Uh, variable camshaft, we are not going to touch anything in here. Um, again, this is a stock vehicle unless you've done a cam swap, which we have not done yet, and you do a uh, phaser lockout or something like that. Um, we're just going to leave this as is. We're not going to touch anything in here, uh, modifying as little as possible. Pressure control, turbocharger, supercharger. We're not going to touch uh, anything in here. Uh, fuel. The nice thing with these uh, direct injected motors is they are already set up for a 10% ethanol uh, gasoline scale, which is nice. Um, there again, everything over here. We're not going to touch. If you were on a chassis dyno, you could adjust this SOI base uh, down here in the wide open throttle range. You could maybe add a little bit to this um, in this region, somewhere over here. Um, we could add, uh, you know, five, 10 percent to it. But uh, for right now, um, we're not going to touch that. Go over here to oxygen sensors. Long term fuel trims, pretty common uh, with all of these platforms. We will just shut these off. We can set the min map pressure to 255 kPa, which it will never reach. So it learns to one and one. And if we scroll through here, nothing else in here to look at. Um, open here in the open loop uh, base, nothing to touch here. Um, this is all going to be just fine. Power enrichment, this is a big one. This, this is the big one, in my opinion. Um, so we want to go, we're going to leave all of the enables, except for the enable torque. We're going to lighten this up. We're going to maybe do like a... 60%, whoops, my bad, there we go. And then somewhere out here, maybe do like a 25%, something like that, that's gonna be just fine. Um, the throttle uh, enable, I honestly would leave that uh, down here, this 70% the same. We can go out here around maybe 4,000 and above and set this to 25%, and we can interpolate from 1,500 to 25, um, that way we can cruise around, not in power enrichment, save a little bit of gas. The delay, 800 is gonna be a good number. 
Um, our EQ ratio, probably going to target maybe like a 0.85 or 0.86 uh, lambda. So we're just going to, uh, EQ ratio is going to be 1.18, something like that. We'll copy this to our alcohol table. Uh, looks like the enrichment. Enrichment rate is already set to one, so that's going to be perfectly fine. No need to touch the knock enrichment. Temperature control. Uh, let's assume that you've maybe installed an off-road Wi-Fi. pipe You can set that to the disable. That would be just fine. Um, Decel fuel cutoff. No need to mess with any of this right now. You do not want to, to disable decel fuel cutoff. Do not do that. Okay. There is one down here, the Excel threshold pretty common that we get rid of that, okay? Moving on, lean fuel saving. Um, obviously want to disable DOD. I don't really know of many people that like to leave that. So it looks like the fuel, flex fuel is disabled on this vehicle. Um, so we are going to leave that disabled. That is a video for a different day on how to enable it. Spark, we want spark smoothing to be disabled, which it is. We can look here at our high octane table and we can just kind of look at the picture of what it looks like. Oops, sorry, my bad. There are some jagged edges and things in here. Um, so if you wanted to just be careful using this smooth button, you could just give it a one, two, just a little bump just to kind of smooth it out just a little bit. You could even hit, just hit it one time. Yeah, so if we go here and just hit once, that would probably be plenty enough. And we can take this and we want about an eight degree separation to our low table. Come up here and hit a minus eight. Hit the plus sign, something like that. Um, we do not want there to be any crazy modifiers. So we're going to go here to our gas versus EQ versus RPM. Um, you also, if this is not obviously that this is not a flex fuel vehicle, you can zero out this alcohol table as well. Humidity, um, no need to really do anything with this. We would like for the high octane table to be the sole um, adder. Intake air temp, um, really everything up until about 154, you can zero out. Then take that 154, bring it over a little bit, and just that way it, it lightly steps. I mean, you're probably not going to get up in there. Engine coolant temp, you know, 230 is kind of the point. So everything from negative four all the way to 212, we can zero out. And then there again, grab this 212, kind of bring this over. That way it just steps its way in there. EGR, it's already zeroed out. You don't need to touch that. Um, variable cam timing. Uh, for now, I would leave this like it is. Unless you've done a cam swap, I would just leave that like it is. Maximum brake torque, you don't need to touch. Everything over here, you don't need to touch. Your minimum spark table. We have a video on this and you can kind of play with, you know, making some of these numbers a little more positive. So if we go in and we add 10 degrees and then we just kind of maybe blend the table, you know, that will keep the um, torque management in on the transmission side, but just kind of lighten everything up. And then you would want to take this and copy this to the long term table when you have those really deep Negative timing numbers, that can cause a bit of an issue. Moving to the retard tab. We can set the step to maybe four. The amount we can just set to an even three. It's gonna be fair enough. Uh, recovery rate, call 0.2. It's gonna be plenty that way. All the knock sensors and everything are still working. Burst knock, you can zero out all of this. You don't need any of this to be active. It's just going to get in the way, especially for, you can go in and zero out all these tables if you want, but they're pretty much all going to be, all going to be deactivated. Dwell, don't touch anything in dwell. Knock sensors, don't mess with anything over here. Torque model, this EQ uh, ratio air mass A is a table that we will discuss when we do a camshaft, but for right now, we do not need to touch it. Torque model loss, no need to touch it. Um, this is already, this table is already maxed out, which is perfectly fine. Peak torque, this is one where you might want to come in here and just give this like a, I don't know, 
5% bump for right now. Kind of blend this in. No need to really do much down here um, because there again, if you've added headers and an off-road exhaust and a cold air intake, maybe even a throttle body, you know, um, you, we don't want to run into any blade closer issues. And this is one of the tables we need to adjust. All of this is already maxed out. We can go down here to brake torque limit. That's already maxed out. So, um, well, no, it's not. Just to double check. Nine. Yeah, that way you can do burnouts if you'd like. Driver demand. We will update these A, B, and C tables down here in the lower regions. Do not touch anything in here. All of these negative numbers need to stay negative. Um, but that's when we do a camshaft. Supercharger, turbocharger. Don't need to touch anything there. Engine diag. Um, general, this all looks good. Airflow. We can disable the high volt test. We can set the POO 68 to like 8,000. Rest is probably going to be fine. Pressure, nothing to touch there. Misfire, there's no camshaft. DTCs, if you added an off road Y pipe, anything bank to um, or sensor tube, sorry, you would need to update. So, all these guys in here, um, all of these sensor tubes you'd want to get rid of. Fuel system, not going to change anything in there. Under the system, general tab, nothing to change there. Fans, we can come over here to the controlled by percent desired. And we can set like the 210 and above to 90, hit equal, and then we can just kind of interpolate over, get the fans on a little bit sooner, which will be good. Uh, coolant pumps, nothing to do there. Don't have anything related to those. AC, 4400. Re-enable 4300. 85% throttle. 70, oops, sorry. 75% throttle, that's going to be a good bet. Speedo, um, if you want to do your tire size change, we can do that up here in the edit tab. Edit that stuff here and hit adjust and it will automatically um, change it here. The limiter, um, you can change all this stuff to 135. We wanna set this to calibration and just set all of these to 135. And then we would wanna go out and we wanna test this and make sure there's no blade closure issues and yeah. This is kind of a just a down and dirty Gen 5, uh, you know, base file, guys, just to kind of get some things turned off and get some things turned on and be ready to go out and start calibrating the vehicle uh, before any other upgrades. So um, if you have any questions, like, comment, subscribe. You can send me an email. Just ask for it in the comments. And, uh, yeah, we will see you on the next one. Thanks.